Hey everyone, this is Colin with Platinum Copier Solutions and today I'm going to show you how to set up your SMTP settings in your copier for Office 365 scanning. The first step is we'll need the machine's IP address, so at your touch screen, touch the settings button, touch the status tab in the top left, then touch the network status button on the left menu. Scroll down a bit on the right side and you'll see your machine's IP address. Jot that down, you're going to need that. Next, open up a web browser on your computer and type that IP address into the address bar to pull up the machine's web page. Once you have that open, click the login button at the top right and type your administrator password in. By default, the password is admin. Next, click the system settings tab, then click the network settings button. On this page, you'll have everything you need to set this up. First things first, you're going to need to enter your DNS settings. If you don't know what those are, open a command prompt and type ipconfig space slash all and that will show you your DNS server. Go ahead and type that in, 192.168.1.1. If you want to use a public one like Gmail, then you can use 8.8.8.8 .8 and then enter your domain name here. For the SMTP settings, we want to enter SMTP office365.com your port number will be 587 the sender name you can leave blank the sender address you'll want to enter uh, your email address at your domain.com whatever that may be you'll enter enable T SSL slash TLS you'll enable SMTP authentication Go ahead and check this change password box and go ahead and put your email address here and your password here. And then scroll all the way to the top of the page and click submit. It's going to ask you to reboot. You can do that later. Click reboot later. Once those settings are in, you'll need an email address to scan to. So you can go to your address book. Click add. Enter a name here, scroll down, and you'll enter an email address here, and click Submit. Now once you've done that at the panel of the copier, go into your scan mode, and you'll see your new email address that you just entered here. You can verify that it's here. Once you click start, it will scan your papers through and send that as an attachment to your email.